an experimental project made up of riverside sensors and drones could one day be Oxford's frontline defence against flooding. And it's all running on disused TV spectrum left over from the digital switchover. According to early adopters, white space could one day power the Internet of Things. Uh, the TV white space actually extends our range, so uh, where there isn't broadband, what we can do is reach into areas that are... Uh, if you have mains power, you can put a white space device in and actually achieve connectivity. But it's not about having your own sensor, it's about sharing your readings with the rest of the community live. And essentially, when, you, when you're running a white space device, you're operating a TV broadcast, which is fun. Packed together from cable ties, Raspberry Pis, parts from DIY stores and an antenna found on eBay, the project is one of many experimenting with TV white space. What we know about the Internet of Things is that devices fundamentally want to connect wirelessly. We don't want to be constantly plugging cables in. And therefore there's going to be a greater and greater demand for access to wireless frequencies. The great thing about unlicensed spectrum is it allows people to cheaply uh, innovate, create projects such as the Flood Network, uh, tie into the TV white space network and use those frequencies to send data backwards and forwards. So you can prototype really quickly, um, create a trial quickly and very cheaply uh, to see whether it's something that's useful to, to, to deploy on a much larger scale. And the use of drones, which is entirely proof of concept for the time being, could one day allow for data to be collected from rivers where it isn't practical to fit permanent sensors.